Hello and welcome to this iClone educational project where we are going to use iClone's 3D engine to simulate the relationship between the Earth, Moon and Sun. Traditionally, educators would use images and text materials to explain abstract concepts in the classroom. But many times these tools have limitations which would make lessons difficult to understand without a practical way of simulating them. But with iClone, there are many benefits as anybody can animate in a fun and interactive way as iClone allows students to build, calculate, and simulate projects for use in science, physics, math, or just about any class subject. With iClone, teachers and students can choose to quickly create content from scratch thanks to the 3D props found inside iClone's library. It's always fun and easy to import your own images to use as textures. You can build a variety of assets complete with orbits, rotations, scales, movements, lighting, and physics to simulate any class project. Users can also take advantage of Google's 3D warehouse to acquire almost any kind of 3D prop for use with iClone. Inside 3D Warehouse, you can find millions of royalty-free models to use in your class lessons at absolutely no cost. You may type in a search for specific items and find a variety of options to choose from. Students may also preview and test these models before downloading them. Later, you can use iClone's 3D Exchange conversion tool to modify and convert your props for use in iClone. Users may download the free trial version of 3D Exchange to test it out with iClone. It's as easy as importing and then exporting. Then, inside iClone, simply go to your props folder to find your new prop and you are ready to start animating with it. Imagine what you can do in every class subject. Now, we will create a rotating motion clip for our Earth. We do this by pressing F3 to open the timeline. When the transform track opens, click the actual size option and then double click on frame 15 to add a keyframe. And then go to the modify column on the right side of iClone and scroll down to the transform section. Inside go to rotate and Z axis and then type in a value of 90 and then press enter. Then go back to the timeline to frame 30. Set another keyframe by double clicking on it and return to the modify column and type in 180 in the z-axis again and then press enter. Then we repeat the same step. We go back to frame 45 and then we add a value of 270. For the last one we go to frame 60 and then we add a value of 360 under the transform section. We have just created a full rotation clip for our earth prop. You can now see this by clicking on play. Once you view the animation, please remember to press the stop button in order to return the playhead to the beginning of the project. Users can later copy and paste these keyframes in order to extend the animation all the way to the end of the project. Next, we will create our moon prop. Simply repeat the process of drag and dropping the image onto the new 3D ball. With iClone, users can easily create movements and transformations by simply setting a start position in the timeline, then moving the timeline forward and readjusting the object's position to create keyframes. Additionally, users can use fully customizable motion paths as orbits. Objects can be attached to these motion paths and set with initial positions. Then, users can again use the timeline to set a final orbit position. These motion paths can then be easily attached to other objects or even other orbits for effortless motion cycles. Then we create our sun and proceed to replicate its natural glow with a texture video we will add to its glow map since we want the sun to have a dynamic glowing atmosphere. By default, 
iClone comes with various videos that can be used as textures. Find them in Media, Video, then in the Content Manager, click on the bottom folder titled Water. Inside, we will work with Water Diffuse 02. Right click on the video and drag and drop it onto the sun prop. When you release the right mouse button, a menu will pop up. Hover down to the last option that says 2 and then next to the menu, click on Glow Map. Note, please make sure that iClone has the pixel shading feature turned on. You can activate it on the upper right side of the stage window. Now we are going to further customize the project with lighting. iClone contains several lighting options such as directional light, spotlight and point light. These can be found in the scene manager on the bottom left. In order to create a believable point light effect that radiates from the sun, we can turn off the default directional light and instead switch to a point light which we will later position in the center of the sun. We can also adjust the light settings such as the color of the light, the light multiplier and even the range of the light to increase the area of illumination. The last steps are for improving the visual quality of the project. For starters, we need to hide the orbit paths so that they don't show. So we go to the scene manager and expand the earth and sun tracks. Inside you will see the two orbit paths. We need to uncheck the boxes in the show column. For the background, we can choose to either set the background to a plain color or import a high quality image. If we want to set a clean black background, then we click on Stage and 2D Background. Then we go to the Modify column and choose one of the colors from the Color Background section. Make sure that the Active option is unchecked. You can also choose to import your own images. In this example, I will use an image from our material folder and drop it onto the background to be used as a texture. I will drag and drop the image directly into iClone stage with the right mouse button. Then I will release the button and when the pop-up menu appears I will select background texture and then diffuse map. In the end we can choose to turn off the grid by holding the control key and pressing G. And we're done! Now we click on iClone side tabs to expand the main stage window for better viewing. You can choose to play the entire animation of your project while panning and zooming around with the X hotkey. We now have complete freedom to study and appreciate the full year sequence of the Earth seasons and the lunar phases. With the same steps we just learned in iClone, students can create amazing looking projects right inside the classroom. Start today and explore the infinite possibilities that iClone offers in one complete, easy to use animation package that gives you the power and flexibility for today's education.